As part of uh, the network janitor routine and basic network cleanup that I do either as engagement or as part of my training, I show people various things to look out for in their network. Um, I've done a previous video on spanning tree and this one I'm going to concentrate a little bit on EIGRP. So what I did was, uh, any old trace will do, you don't need a mirror port or a span port, and I'm just going to come up here and do a display filter for EIGRP. A lot of people have EIGRP running and many times this EIGRP packet is on the local area network or the local segment. Typically EIGRP is uh, meant to be a router to router uh, communication. So a lot of times I will explain to customers a few things. Number one, uh, the default is multicast. Uh, you can make this uh, a unicast if you'd like. Uh, people tend to do that when they harden or uh, are a little more security conscious. Uh, the default is the multicast address. Second thing is if you don't need EIGRP on your local segment, I strongly suggest you uh, uh, don't have the router shoot this packet out its interface by using a passive command on that interface. Uh, lastly, if you do have EIGRP, this is a pretty interesting way just to find out who is uh, sending it out and what's coming out on your local segment and sometimes I find that uh, ERG pa EIGRP packets excuse me, um, are hearing uh, different interfaces and sometimes it leads to a problem. So it's just a nice quick little thing to do just to make sure everything's working alright and hope you enjoyed it.